Welcome to the Creative Kitchen. We're looking at a concept rendering of the Granville Estate for the Flappers Project. And today our focus is going to be brick painting. You can see on these panels here where we have brick uh, rendered out. And you can see on the porch below, we uh, concepted field stone originally, but instead we have changed this field stone to this brick with the uh, coins, the same as the upper wall. So I'm gonna pan back here so that you can see the scenery now that uh, matches. Now we're looking at the uh, physical scenery um, that matches that rendering right there. You can see it all up here where we've started. Um, I'll pan to the left and you can see some other scenery panels um, over there. Today our focus is going to be the porch. We're gonna come around the uh, scenery rack into the build zone where we have the porch standing here. And I want to point out the today's focus is going to be finishing off the front porch bricks. Now you immediately notice in this shot there is a uh, contrast between the bricks on the left which are more of a reddish uh, clay colored brick and you have this more of a dark chocolate brown um, colored brick like a raw umber. And so this is part of the process. This is a, a three-step brick. The first step uh, what you can't see was the amaretto lightly over the honey beige um, base coat. The honey beige is actually now the color of that grout between the bricks. And then after the amaretto goes on, uh, the second step is this chocolate pudding color that darkens the bricks down. The final step is adding some amaretto that starts to lighten up the uh, brick uh, color itself to make it more of that terracotta color. So I have here a paint set up. Um, there should be enough paint in this vessel here, but if not, you can get it. Uh, the color we're using is Amaretto. And I have a little three inch roller and it's a textured roller. It's the perfect tool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here. We're gonna drag the roller. You probably will need some more paint. And I like to uh, paint, I like to uh, dump the, the paint off on the roller to kind of give it a, get an even roll. You don't need a lot of paint, but you also don't wanna be too skimpy. You do need a moderate amount of paint on the roller to do the job. So we're just going to come over here and we'll do a brick. You want a nice light touch. So the idea is not to push deep or hard. You just kind of want to skim that brick. And what will happen is you'll start to lay off some of that color. And because the, the roller itself is textured, look at that. Now you don't need to do an even coat really. Um, you know, some bricks will be thin. Some bricks will be thick. Some bricks you'll have uh, more horizontal texture, some a little vertical, and you'll notice I'm going to kind of be spotty about the bricks. Um, you don't want a lot of that honey beige showing up. We kind of want to diminish that. And so there you go. There's a nice brick. Now this one I'm going to do kind of vertical. You, you'll be able to tell how much paint to load onto your roller because if you don't load enough, you actually have to push too hard. And so you want to avoid that. Uh, you can see I went over a little bit there with the grout. That's not a problem, although we do want to be mindful not to do that too much um, but when we go to paint the grout. So I'm going to load the paint here. and I, I do want a moderate amount because the more paint you have on your roller, actually the less pressure you have to push onto the, the roller. So here we go. I'm going to kind of, oh, that, you know, this is perfect because I have a nice moderate to heavy loaded roller. And it's just giving me that nice texture. Look at that. That's like a perfect brick right there. I like that. If you need a little bit heavier spot, you know, you can push down or whatever. So the goal today is to finish uh, the rest of the bricks here on this front portion of the Granville Estate. And then I'm coming around here to the end of the porch. You can see those dark brown bricks haven't been done and those need to be done as well. That's the project for today. And uh, look forward to seeing your progress when we're done. Make sure to take pics or send me a little video.